Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome. This is a, a live Discover 4X session, and I hope everybody's having a um, wonderful Sunday afternoon. The market just opened, and so we're going to uh, take a look here at gold in just a minute. We're going to talk about uh, what the market is doing, what it's all about, and um, I got. I want to really just kind of take some of the mystery away from Forex and from day trading. So uh, we're going to just uh, see here exactly what the market does here. I'm going to go ahead and give everybody just a couple of minutes to get on, if you will. Just say hello in the chat. Let me know that you're on and tell me just a little bit about your uh, trading experience. Have you ever traded before? What do you know about trading? Um, are you currently a student with IM Academy? And um, just give me a little bit of information about yourself. And so we're going to see exactly what the market does here when it uh, opens up. I kind of thought that we might see a uh, gap to the upside here in gold and it really did a little number. Hang on just one second. Let me go ahead and take a look here. So let me just refresh my screen. I've been sitting here for a minute. I'm going to go back. Looks like, uh, let's see here. So, uh, again, I'm just kind of giving everybody a few minutes to get on. This is supposed to be interactive. So, I hope you guys, um, I see we have a few people on. Go ahead and let me know in the chat, guys. Can you chat on there? I think I have it set up so you can. I wanted to see what you guys are, um, what you know about trading. Like I said, we're going to give the market just a minute. It literally opened two minutes ago. So uh, we want to give the market a just a minute here to open up, settle down. Uh, well, it actually takes a little bit of time for it to settle down. So it's just opened up. And so uh, we want to give it a couple of minutes here and we're going to uh, take a look and see. I want to show you a little bit about gold and I prefer uh, Actually, I prefer gold and um, some indices, but we also trade Forex pairs, which are foreign currency exchange pairs. Um, and so, um, but we're going to be looking primarily at gold today, okay? So, if there's something I need to do so that you guys can chat, please let me know what it is. Um, I don't really see, I see you guys joining, but I don't really see anybody that's um, actually done any chats. Can you see my screen? How about that? Let me go ahead and text in here and make sure that you guys can see my screen. Looks black right now to me. Let me ask. All right, can you see my screen? Let me ask that. Testing one, two, three. Can you see my screen? I'm waiting on some answers in the session, okay? I have uh, two sessions, it looks like, going. One says that I have eight people, and one says I have 18. And so I'm wondering if I accidentally had two sessions going at the same time. So y'all let me know. Hi, black screen. Okay. So give me a second. I'm going to do this. Give me one moment. And let me go ahead and make sure my Zoom is uh, all set up the way it's supposed to be. Give me one second. I'll do that. See what this does. All right. Let's see if that gives me a screen. If you guys will let me know here in just a second. All right, so right now it's telling me that I have a, um, that my screen is on. 
So let me know if you still see a black screen. Because I am definitely sharing the screen right now. Ah, yay, you guys can see it now. Excellent. I love it. Okay, so what I see is still a black screen. So let me just show you. So what I see is still a black screen on mine. So I'm going to take your word for it and um, see that you guys have a screen now. Excellent, excellent. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Nice. All right, so here we go. So um, I'm excited. I'm going to just, um, what I want to do is this is going to be called a Discovery Forex session. All right, Discovery Forex. So um, first of all, I want to take just a little bit of mystery now um, away from, from um, trading the market. All right. So I remember the first time I ever saw a screen, I'm like, okay. So is this someone's heart monitor? Is this like their blood pressure? I mean, what what are we looking at here with all these like jiggy jaggy lines, right? It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I don't I didn't know exactly what all this meant. And so it doesn't take long, believe it or not, um, that you will start understanding what some of this stuff means, right? Because what happens is. Um, what happens is that um, right now, these little lines, these things are called candles, okay? So these are called candles. And let me just show you here. For instance, this is the gold market, X-A-U-U-S-D. So that's the gold versus the U.S. dollar. So I'm going to give you some real basic information right now. So see right here, this number says 1505.30. That is $1,506. So what that means is for every ounce of gold, it's $1,507. All right. Um, this number is constantly changing, constantly changing. All right. So uh, what happens is in the Forex market, or in the commodities market, or in the metals market, or oil, whatever. See, we trade Forex, metals, oil, digital currency, which is Bitcoin, and we also trade indices, all right? We can trade stocks, all of that stuff, guys, all of that stuff. So what happens is the market is forever changing every nanosecond. This number is constantly changing. So what happens is we put, uh, you learn strategies. So I Am Academy is a phenomenal academy that I work for. Let me plug in the academy here. I Am Academy, it's a, an amazing academy. We have all these online video training. Um, if you want Forex or high frequency Forex, we have, we're in multiple languages. We're in like, I don't even know how many countries now. I want to say 60, it may be more. I don't even know. We have all of this uh, because I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I can't keep up with it. We are growing so fast. So we have all these academies that uh, where you get your online basic, okay? So you come in and you take your basic academy. Then after that, you're going to get, I'm just going to show you really quick, all right? After that, you will get an educator like myself, and you will start following us. Um, see, that's me, Lee Allen. Um, you will come, and you'll come to my classes. Now, I'm on multiple channels, so this happens to be my pivot time when I'm on this channel, but I'm on Pivots, Vibrata, and Forex Advanced, okay? I'm on multiple of channels, so I'm on like six, nine times a week, all right? But, okay, so I digressed just a little bit, okay? I digressed just a little bit, but what I wanted to show you is that we have this amazing um, academy that teaches you how to learn the basics, and then, then we will um, walk you by the hand through learning how to um, learning how to read charts. All right. So let's just talk about this. For instance, this is gold, and um, I'm going to take you to a lower time frame. 
So this is a, a 30 minute time frame right here. I'm taking you to. And I'm going to oh, see when gold closed on Friday, it opened with a gap on Sunday, which is normal. We kind of expected that. But anyway, what I wanted to tell you is like on last week, we were trading gold and we were selling, 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 selling. And then on Friday, right before the market um, closed for a few hours before it closed, all of a sudden we were like, OK, guys, the market is looks like it's reversing and we're getting ready to start buying gold. All right. So it's real funny because when I first got in, I was like, OK, so I'm going to buy gold and they're going to give it to me. They're going to deliver it to my door. What are they going to do? Because I had to buy gold. And then in my mind, in order to sell gold, I had to have some in my hand. I was like, how am I going to sell gold if I don't have any in my hand? How, where, where, where do I have it at to sell it? Well, in the uh, in the uh, currency exchange market, you don't physically own it to sell it. So what you're doing is you're saying, hey, guys, the market is extremely oversold right here. And I know this is like uh, technical, but we we know we we will teach you what this means. We're like, OK, gold came down here to the bottom at price 1468 and price held it there. And then it bounced up and then price came back and retested this area, bounced up, came back, retested for a third time. Normally you get like a double bottom, but this was a triple bottom. And then what did gold do? It just went up, 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 up and away. Guys, let me just give you an idea of what this means. I know you don't know what pips are. That is 473 pips. That is crazy. Gold went up 473 pips in 13 hours. That is absolutely amazing. So what we do, guys, in the Forex or in the trading market, so I'm going to, I love my little pen, so I'm going to give you guys a little one-two here on, on this. Come here, pen. I probably opened it about a dozen times here and trying to, there you are. Got to get my little pen. I love my little pen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here what this looks like. All right. So 472 pips. You're like, what the world is a pip? Well, I can't get into all that right now. That's, that's something that we teach. We have videos on. You can learn it in about 30 minutes. But a pip is like a percentage and point. Um, it's like a, a percentage of a point. Uh, but anyway, we're going to talk about pips. So it's 472 pips. Now, what we do in the market is we say, look, gold's at the bottom. I think it's going to go up. I'm going to to buy it because I think it's going to go up, right? So I'm going to buy it at a 0 0.01 lot size. So 472 pips. Now, you might not have taken it 472 pips. You might have said, look, I think it just might go this high or this high because we talked to we talked to you about that, too. But let's say you took it for all 472 pips, 472 pips times a zero one lot size up. You're not going to you're not going to uh, go shopping at the top stores with this, but that's four dollars and seventy two cents. OK, that's simple. Now, I'm going to just let you know that most of us trade with a different lot size. That's usually like a beginner lot size. People are just getting their feet wet. Um, but what if, for instance, um, an average lot size that that I trade with is a 0 0.6? That's a kind of an average lot size. So if I traded 472 pips, and I traded that a 0 0.6, and I'm not kidding, guys, that's actually my lot size that I normally use. That is, and I, I can't tell you you're going to make this. I'm just giving you the, uh, the uh, information. That's 2,832 pips. I mean dollars. That's 2,832 dollars. All right. That's what you would have made on 472 pips at a 0 0.6 lot size. All right. But so 
uh, I'm just giving you like a little bit because I know pips that you know pips don't mean anything to you, right? You're like, what is a pip, and how does that? What is that in dollars for me? I know that that's that's what most people are mostly interested in. All right, so let's go ahead and um, say that you didn't do 472 pips. Let's say you said, look, because I teach my students to go one pivot level, all right? So let's just say you got in right here and you went right to that next pivot level. That is 81 pips right there, all right? That's 81 pips. So let's just say you were extremely conservative. You caught 81 pips. And let's say that, guys, I said a .01 is like very beginner. Let's just say that um, you did a .1. All right, remember, I do like a .6. I actually do a higher than that sometimes, but I'm trying to be conservative here, very conservative. So if you did 81 pips and you did a .1 lot size, again, I'm talking very conservative, that would be $81 that you made. And let's just see how many minutes it took, all right? Let's see how much time it took. The market was here, it went here. Guys, that was in five hours. Now, you didn't have to leave your house. Uh, you could do this from your phone. Uh, you can do it anywhere on the beach. You can do it from your home. You can do it at work. You can do it on your lunch break. This is something that I'm just kind of showing you here. This is um, the simplicity. Now, remember, this is called discover. This is, oh, now that's my little alarm there because it's telling me, oh, it's telling me that gold is moving to 1502.50. I have alerts set, right? I have alerts set. Uh, I'm very um, interactive with my phone. I tell you what, guys, people are staring at their phone all day. Why not let it make you some money, right? If you're going to be, uh, if you're going to be staring at your phone, you might as well. Um, make some money at it. All right, so let's go ahead and look here and see. Now, look at these candles. These candles are going up, right? Now, this candle is coming down. So what does that mean? That means that I just hit the wrong button. Let me go back over here to gold, 15-minute time frame. I'm going to shoot over here to the five. There we go. All right, so what happened was, this was Friday. The market closes at uh, 5 p.m. Central on Friday, and then it reopens at 5 p.m. Central on Sunday. So basically, we trade for 24 hours a day, five days a week. The market gold was price was here, but over the weekend, the prices, the, the value of the dollar, the value of gold, the value of all this continues to change every second. Just because our market is closed when we're trading, this is our broker, doesn't mean that the value of gold or the value of the U.S. dollar doesn't change. So this is where the value was. So the market opened with a gap. Okay, no big deal. Typically, the market will come back and close that gap. Sometimes immediately, sometimes in a day, sometimes in a week, sometimes in months. In this case, we can see the market already filled that gap. So here we are. Now, gold, look at this. So the market is just forever changing. Look, it opened here, went up. Now, look, it's coming down. So uh, this is why, what if, what if you said, look, I am only going to trade for a few pips a day. Um, so if I wanted to sell here, and get out here, that's 81 pips, remember? Right here, 81 pips. Right now, pivot levels are 81 pips apart. So if I got in here and sold here, I would have just made 81 pips. And that could be 81, eight dollars, it could be, I mean, that's, you know, remember again, we're talking about depending on your lot size. So, um, so this is just kind of a basic session here. Uh, what I wanna do right now, is 
I want to talk to you just a little bit more about um, how do I know if it's going to go up? How do I know if it's going to come down? The, and plus, I want to let you know, guys, first of all, I'm going to put this up here really super big. I want you to know, because some people will go ask this question, is this gambling? Oh, my goodness. Is this gambling? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It is not gambling. All right. Uh, first of all, who trades Forex? Who trades these markets? All right. Can you guys tell me uh, some guys or women in the in the um, in the chat? Can you tell me who trades Forex market? And another thing I want to tell you because I want to take this mystery here i'm going to make it even more amazing guess what this market is 6.6 .6 trillion dollars per day that is amazing this is a 6.6 .6 trillion dollar per day market six trillion dollars per day this is the largest I mean, largest liquid financial market in the world. All right. This is larger than stocks. Okay. This is not stocks. It's traded at, on Wall Street, but it is not stocks. The wonderful thing about this market, let me tell you right now. Remember a while ago I said that... I don't physically have this in my hands. So let me ask you right now. What if I had gold and it was at this 1505 price and then all of a sudden it started dropping? Well, then the value of the gold in my hands would be worth less. That's just like stocks, right? Just like stocks. If I own a stock and then the value of the stock goes down, then my portfolio decreases. Yes, yes. Everybody got it? Yes, yes. All right. So what happens in this market, it's wonderful. So what happens in this market, it says, hey, I feel like based on my analysis, this is based on um, what we know that's going on in the, uh, on the charts, what we know that's going on in the economy. There's 90% of this is what is uh, analysis. 10% of this is um, fundamental okay so first of all I'll say look I'm going to buy gold to here I bought it price went up I got my money I'm done yes yes so I'm not hanging on to it I'm not something I don't physically own all I'm saying is I feel like the price of gold is going to go up let me tell you something right now uh, can everybody get out a pen and paper I want everybody to write this down on your uh, on your notebook, on whatever it is you want, whatever, whatever you've got. Lee Allen said today on March 22nd at 5.23 p.m. Central Time that the value is, of gold is going to go up to about $1,780. Yes, yes? All right. I can't tell you that it's going to happen today, tomorrow, next week, or next month. But with everything going on in this market, I want you to know that gold is going to go up. Why? It's a safe haven. So when everything else is, is um, you know, falling to the left, to the right, uh, the dollar has been, our cash has been king this last week. The dollar went up almost higher than it's ever been. It went to like a dollar three. Uh, where's my dollar index? I have it on here somewhere. I've got so many. You guys, if y'all saw my office, I have like nine monitors with all of these charts on them. So you'd be like, oh my gosh, it looks like I work for some secret service or some, um, there it is, found it. I just found my DXY. Let me just show you something real quick. I'm going to go back to, is this gambling? Don't worry. Banks trade. Uh, all right, look at this. 
So the dollar made it all the way to right here at 103.01. The dollar has not been worth that in, let's get ready and look. Y'all are going to see my messy old charts right now. Y'all are going to see some messy, messy charts. Hang on a second. I do a lot of writing on my charts. Look at this. This is the peak. This is as high as the dollar has been, 103.7. This was back in January of 2016. And then the dollar began to tank all the way down here. And then it went on a rise and made its way back up almost to the highest that it's ever been right here. Okay, so that's enough about the DXY. That's the dollar, okay? So what I want to show you is that as the dollar starts to decline, as uh, investors go to look for safe things to invest their money in, right? They're going to come back to gold. They're going to come back to gold. So what am I going to do? Oh, oh, I have to say this. So look, gold came up right here to uh, 7, 1690. Actually, I think it made it right at, yeah, 1692. Um, here, this was the highest, if we'll look. And it is going to, in my opinion, come up here to about the 1750 zone right here, 1750. And I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say possibly even higher and not even just higher, but much higher. All right. Not higher, but much higher. All right. So are y'all still with me? Do I haven't lost anybody, have I? Just want to make sure. All right. So. What am I going to do, guys? The uh, gold has come back down to this bottom. Look over here. This is an area of support. It came back and retested this low price area here. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to wait. It's going. It, see a red candle? So price is coming down a little bit. I'm going to wait, see if it comes down to retest this zone one more time. And then I'm going to get in for a buy, and I'm going to buy gold on what's called a swing trade, right? I'm going to get into a buy, and I've already put in some buys, but I'm going to I'm going to scale in some more buys to look right here. If it retests this zone right here, that's 2,158 pips. But if it goes even higher to this zone right here. That's 2,563 pips. All right, that's what I'm going to be looking for. It's going to be called, it's going to be a swing trade, which means it could take days or weeks or months. But whenever you guys, um, whenever you guys um, get into a trade like that, that, you know, when you buy stocks, you don't get in to get out tomorrow, right? You get in and, and your your um, your investment banker will say, now, listen, uh, now, can you leave this in for like two years? Can you leave this in for four years? All right. Now, I'm not suggesting that we're going to leave this trade in for two years or four years. I'd be surprised if we left it in for two months. I'm thinking more like a month or less. But what um, what I am saying is that we will need to do this with patience. All right. So let's just say we did that 0 0.01 lot size. Remember that we were talking about that 
0.01 lot size. That equals to approximately 10 USD cents. All right, that's that's what that 01 lot size. It's about 10 uh, cents USD. All right. So if I did 2,500 pips times 10 cents, that's about $250. I'm, I'm doing 2,500 pips, all right? If I did that uh, point 0.1 equals approximately $1 USD, that would equal about $2,500. Yes, yes? Now, remember I said I typically trade a 0.6. That equals approximately, y'all kind of getting a pattern here, $6 USD. And that would be, for 2,500 pips, that would be, and I'm not saying anybody's going to make this. I'm not making any claims. I'm not making any income claims, y'all. I'm just showing you uh, 2,500 pips and how that um, math works out for you. All right? Now, uh, so I'm kind of just showing you how the market works. And remember, we said this is not gambling, absolutely not gambling. If you were to gamble with this, you'd probably lose. Gambling is something where you say, I'm going to bet. Um, I don't even know. I'm not a gambler. So I, I can't really tell you about gambling too much. I really am not a gambler. Okay, so, uh, but this is all with analysis. These are Wall Street, Wall Street, Wall Street traders, investment bankers, uh, governments, companies. This is where they put their money. This is where they put their money. This is how, uh, there's a, uh, if you ever heard of a man called George Soros, um, George Soros, look him up. All right, very, very wealthy man. He is labeled as the man who broke the Bank of England. All right, the man who broke the Bank of England. I want you to look him up. All right, look up. You, you can actually probably just put, uh, you could probably just put in the man who broke the Bank of England. Uh, you, that would probably, his name is going to come up. So everybody Google the man who broke, because it's going to tell you uh, the Bank at, of England. Uh, he made, and I'm trying to remember how many uh millions or billions he made in just one day uh, trading in the Forex market. All right. Trading one day in the um, Forex market. So um, anyway. Oh, and here it is. It happened on September 16th. Get this in 1992. How many of you guys even knew about trading in 1992? I sure didn't. Um, nope, I didn't know about it at all. But uh, anyway, he put in a large, a rather large trade. And uh, I'm looking on here because I don't really remember this, how many millions he made that day. But he just about toppled the British government. They told him. Anyway, they put, oh, he pocketed $1 billion. Huh. He pocketed one billion dollars. All right. Uh, dear goodness, Lord, have mercy. Um, I'm going to. I was going to see. Here it is, guys. I'm not going to like go into all, all of this. The man, how did George Soros break the Bank of England? Guys, it's it's crazy, but yes, he did. He 
pocketed $1 billion that day. Now, this is a $6.6 trillion, and it wasn't $6.6 trillion at the time, but Soros pocketed $1 billion. $1 billion. That's crazy. He had some money to put into the market. I don't think people like that, uh, I don't think he was... Um, I don't think he was gambling, do you? All right, so let's keep looking here. Now, you guys, I'm, I'm going to let you, if you guys think of a couple of questions, I'm going to have you put them in the chat in a minute, and I will try to answer uh, a few questions, all right? I will try to answer a few questions. All right. So, uh, yeah, right now it's bearish. We're not getting into a, somebody said, I prefer to sell. Are we going to ignore that bearish candle? No, we're not going to ignore that bearish candle because it might come back here or here. I'm not getting into a swing buy just yet. All right. Now, I will be honest with you. I already got into some swing buys. I got into some swing buys very low. So I'm okay. All right. I'm good. Short term, I will be selling from here to here, all right? Short term, and of course, price has already came here. So, if price doesn't bounce, I'm going to sell from here to here for about 150 pips, all right? That'll be uh, a move that I'll be looking at for my team and my students and IM Academy, okay? Now, I have a lot of people, and the reason why I did this today, guys, is because I had so many people asking me about trading. They know that I trade, and they were hitting me up in my, in my messenger and uh, Facebook and IG and all this stuff. All these people were hitting me up, and there's one of my little alerts telling me where price is on gold. I trade gold on a daily basis, so... I have all kinds of little alerts that tell me what's happening with it. But um, anyway, so um, really I thought, you know what, let me kind of do some uh, demystifying here. Is that a word, demystifying? Uh, I wanted to kind of just take out a little bit of the mystery here and kind of let you see that this is actually something that we... Uh, we do on a regular basis. We mark up our charts. Let me go back and show you this a little bit. I know this is going to be a little bit much, but this is kind of how I look at my charts. I take and I will look at where price it's been. I always look to the left for um, clues. The left always gives you clues. And we kind of, there's some tools that you get in I Am Academy and you'll learn how to use them and Maybe we say, oh, this is a cool one. We're going to pull out the Fibonacci. Doesn't that sound cool? It makes you sound really smart. Um, so pull out the Fibonacci. And Fibonacci already passed one of the, the zones that we say it's going to retrace back to. Um, it's come down here. Almost made a 100% retracement. It's bouncing around the 78%. And we'll be looking for price to start making a bullish move again here possibly soon. All right. That's a that. So uh, I'm kind of just showing you a little bit of uh, analysis that we do. We do something that's also called um, support and resistance. All of this is, you know, if you've never done this before, it's kind of like I don't even know what they're saying. Um, but we kind of look at where the market's been so that it can kind of tell us where the market's going. All right. All of this stuff, it's kind of um, kind of just looking here where the market's been so that we can see where the market's going. And I start showing you stuff like this and you're going to go, that is just not that much mystery at all. All right. Kind of show you some things here. So the market has a tendency to reject off common prices. All right. And you'll see it keep coming back to some common prices. And so we buy and sell to those prices. That's in, um, in short, 
in short, um, this is uh, one of the ways that we buy and sell. We look at where the market's been, and then we say, okay, the market come back down to this low right here. Come, here's a low, 1453. Uh, on This is the low on Friday. Look at this. Bounced off this area here. So looks like it's coming right back here to this 1485 zone right here. And possibly, possibly back down into this zone, this 1473 zone. But right now, I would wait to see if it comes here and bounces at 1485. Okay. And so let me just show you something else. We get all, everybody has their little thing that they do. Let me show you right here. This would be the zone. See how price bounced here and here. So this is kind of a zone right here between 1479 and 1485. So anyway, I'm just kind of showing you guys um, what we're looking for. We're looking for it to come down here. And then what do we think it's going to do? It's going to come down here like this. And then possibly the next move would be to bounce back up. All right, and so I'm going to trade. I'm going to trade these zones, and I'm going to trade to here, and then to here, or here, here. See, it's there's really not a whole lot of mystery. It's really it's a game. It's fun. I feel like I'm blessed that I get to play this game, and uh, my family benefits from it. And also, the wonderful thing is, I get to help other people uh, learn how to trade every day. Um, I'm an educator, again, for um, I Am Academy, and if you are interested in learning how to trade, if you're interested in learning, please message me privately in, um, in Messenger, um, so if you, because I'm, I'm going to ask you some questions and all that, and a little bit about your trading, so private message me in messenger and i'll give you a little bit more information about joining the academy you're not joining me okay i work for the academy so you're going to be joining an academy and i am an educator for the academy all right so um anyway anybody else have any questions i can't doesn't look like i don't know did we did i lose you guys are you still there in the chat Because it seems to me, let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, so another thing I want to share with you really, really quick, I'm super excited about it, is we have a trading a thon that starts tonight at midnight. Uh, we have a trade a thon. And I'm um, very excited about, learn, about uh, helping our students. It's going to be 24 hours for five days a week. We have multiple educators. And what we're doing is we're going to get on. We're going to tell you what we're, we don't see, we can't tell you what to trade, but we can tell you what we're trading. So I can tell you, hey, I'm buying gold. I'm selling gold. I'm going to get out here. And uh, if you guys want to, you can get in. Um, you can get in and get out uh, on your own. But we just kind of uh, tell you what we're doing, and then you guys can get in too. How about that? Does that sound like fun? Uh, let me see if I can show the, the, I think I've got it on here. Here it is. I'm going to show it right here so you can see it. Look at this. Monday through Friday trade a thon. Tokyo session with Kevin. Tokyo London session with Lee and Dr. Kathy. Boss from uh, Lithuania is here doing the London session. Not here, but he's in Lithuania. Uh, let's see. Kevin will do a London session. Then I'm going to come back and do a London New York session. And then Dr. Kathy's going to do a New York London session. So these are our times central. So make sure you are hooked up with the academy because you do have to be a, in the academy to be able to join 
join us, um, it's for our students. So if you're not part of the academy, you're going to want to get hooked up fast, and somebody probably told you about this, and you want to get back with them. All right? Whoever told you about this, um, whoever told you about trading or whatever, you want to get back with them. If no one else told you, then... Um, hey, I'm here to tell you now and you can get with me. So um, I can't wait tonight. Got your account funded and ready to trade Kim Mitra. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So guys, um, we've been on for about 44 minutes and um, I don't see any questions in the chat. Uh, brokers, I cannot refer brokers as uh, because I am with I Am Academy, we're not allowed to refer brokers. Um, personally, I can tell you who I use, but I am not recommending anyone. Can I say that? I'm not referring anybody. But I use um, a few brokers, LMFX, FX Choice, and Hugo's Way. All right. Oops. Hugo. Okay, those are some brokers that I use. All right, I'm not giving any referrals there. I'm just answering a question. Uh, who else? Oh, I am doing this shuffle strategy. Tanzil, yes. Yes, yes, I will be calling my trades. So I'll be calling trades. If you were with me last week, we averaged 1,000 to 2,000 pips a day in my sessions. Let me go ahead and repeat that. If you traded with me last week, we averaged 1,000 to 2, and it's all verifiable because it's all recorded, 2,000 pips per day in my sessions, okay? So I have my own private strategy that I created and it's called the Lee Allen Shuffle. And and I will be um, calling my trades, I'll be calling my trades um, during this Trade-a-thon using my uh, my strategy there. <clears throat> I don't. We won't be doing any teaching, Tanzil. It'll pretty much just be trading. Uh, of course, you're going to see how I'm. You know, you'll see it. So that'll be good too. All right, you'll learn. You'll learn uh, while you earn there. All right. Anybody else have any questions? My team actually came up with this name. The Lee Allen Shuffle. Uh, I thought we were going to call it like the Texas Two Step or the Lee Allen or the Lee's Two Step or something, but they came up with the shuffle. Uh, they are having phenomenal success with it. Um, it uh, let me just show you. Hey, I will show you. Hey, you know uh, what is that? Document doc, documentation beats what? There's some kind of, <laughs> I'm so bad. Documentation beats something every day. I don't know. Somebody tell me what that means. Documentation. What's that saying? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you a quick view here of something that uh, I'll, it's going to show you a little documentation here. Not money. I don't show money. Uh, we don't we don't try to entice people. Uh, and go, oh, hey, if you come to our academy, you're going to make X amount of money. No, nope, we don't do that. Uh, we're going to teach you, uh, just like if you go to college, they can't tell the doctor how much money he's going to make, right? Nope, nope, nope. Depends on how good of a doctor he is, right? Uh, what we're, they're going to do is they're going to teach him a skill, and you're going to learn a master skill. And let me go ahead and do this. You're going to learn a master skill. And let's just show you here. So pivots is my pip, pivots is my pip talk. And so let's just take a look here. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is so nice. Somebody from Hawaii wanted to let me know that um, I played a major role in changing his life forever. Uh, and his 
13, 14, and 16 year olds are now master trading. That's amazing. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. On Thursday night, I couldn't sleep. I woke up, watched the market, and I called uh, three or four trades totaling 176 pips. Totaling 176 pips. We did two 76 pip trades and a 14 pip trade, and we made some pips. Yeah, 276 and a 14. Uh, but I want to show you that was just like in an hour. Uh, let's see here. We, we have this little uh, area where we actually teach people. In this session, we caught 300 pips that day in that session. But I want to show you for real what I mean about catching. Ah, Tuesday's live session, trade results, 3,697.2 pips. What? I had 10 wins and one loss. Yes, I am telling you. And that loss was like, if you put in your stop loss, you lost 60 to 100 pips out of 3,697. But if you stayed in the trade, it came back and hit take profit. My word, my word. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Uh, so what we are uh, doing here is we are teaching you a master skill. And so if, um, if it's something that you are interested in, guys, go ahead and get back with the person that's been telling you about it. If there's not anybody that's been telling you about it, then you can message me in Facebook. I'll help you out and I'll be happy to. A while ago I said I would be trading to here. Look, price bounced right off that. And how many pips has it bounced up already? 60 pips. 60 pips times a point one is $60. All right, guys. So, um, guys, if you have um, any more questions, join us tonight in Go Live. Super excited about it. We are going to, uh, Dr. Kathy and I are going to kick this off at midnight. So, you know, that means I'm going to have to go get me some sleep in just a minute. Um, so, Dr. Kathy and I are going to kick it off right here. Uh, at 12 a.m. Central Standard Time, Dr. Kathy and I are going to kick this trade a off. Super excited about this, and um, we look forward to um, everything that we're going to be able to do to help you guys. Oh, somebody sent me this video. It's kind of funny, but I won't play it for you. Um, anyway, so super excited about what we're going to be doing tonight. Hi, Lee. Are we trading live on Facebook? No, we'll be trading on Go Live. Uh, on Forex channel. All right. Yes, this was recorded. So um, I just wanted to hopefully give you guys a little documentation. Thank you, Tanzil. Documentation beats conversation. Holy moly. I can't believe I can remember that. Um, I want to give you just a little discover. This is all this is. It's a little discover. I, I dive. And so we have a discover scuba. And this is a Discover Forex. That's all this is. A Discover Forex session here. Just to kind of give you a little idea of what this is all about. And, um, and so we're going to be on. No, you do not have to be subscribed to Pivots to get it tonight. Uh, for this, we're going to be doing some things on the Forex Advance session. All right? On the Forex Advance channel. All right, guys. I hope you all let everybody know about our trade-a-thon. If you want to know more about this, let me know in our messenger. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Guys, stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors as much as you can, and wash those hands, <laughs> okay? All right, guys. Have a great, uh, blessed rest of your day. Bye, everybody. <laughs>